hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm jess if you haven't yet subscribed please click on the red button down below today we have an important update from the kenya ferry tragedy if you haven't yet watched the videos please click on the links above from what i gathered is that there was a crane and beside it were about eight divers so watching anxiously were thousands of kenyans including mombasa governor hassan joho in the picture shows the husband of Mariam Kigenda and the father of Amanda Mudeo. Guys, this marks the 13th day since John Wambua lost his family. On the site was also government spokesman Cyrus Oguna and other Navy officials. No ferry operations were ongoing. Carefully and calmly coordinated, you could see two divers going in. On the same distance, a few meters away, you could see the same MV Harambe ferry full of passengers docked. A lot of tensions could be felt on this day. So guys, the two divers were calmly giving instructions using hand gestures. After a few minutes, you would hear a beeping sound from the crane. The two divers were holding two paper bags as they carefully coordinated with other team members of divers from other two boats. Meanwhile, guys, journalists are asked to kindly be respectful and not to take unnecessary pictures because this is a very sensitive matter. In the meantime, the two Navy divers submerge in and out of water, assumingly giving others directions and insight. Slowly, you could see a trace of something and people getting excited and shouting. Guys, by now you could just hear the excitement from the crowd and you could also hear journalists just begging the officials to take pictures of the number plates to make sure that this is the car holding Mariam and Amanda. Guys, so finally we can just see there's hope, there's light at the end of the tunnel so people can just be at peace. Although it is a very sad moment for Kenyans, we are also just glad that we can have a peace of mind, that our conscience can be at peace, that these people can be laid to rest in a respectful manner. So guys, let's just pray for the family and just let's be respectful on social media by the pictures they are taking. I hope that the that the government officials and the journalists will just be sensitive on this matter. Feel free to watch the following videos and please remember to subscribe. Until next time, we give God glory and we hope that the government will build a bridge so that we avoid such situations in future.